Now, Tony Hadley is going global with the biggest collaboration of his 40-year career. He's teaming up with youth choirs all over the world. And he joins me now. It's so good to see you. How are you? Hi, Lorraine. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, not bad at all. And, um, yeah, I mean, we're all sort of dealing with lockdown in our own different ways. It was, um, yeah, so, yeah, very, very good, actually, yeah. Glad to hear it. And this, I guess, must be the biggest band that you've ever worked with. Well, yeah, the Young Voices. I I did it last year and, and the year before. We did uh, the year before we did the Greatest Showman, which was amazing. And then this year we did like Queen medleys and, and and stuff like that with the Shires and Hootie, and um, absolutely incredible. And if you've if you've not been to a Young Voices concert, it's literally five to eight thousand children behind us with their teachers and the audience, obviously parents and and um, and the public as well. And the children all sing along with us. There's a fantastic rock band on stage. And it, it's just the most, it's actually very emotional. Um, and there were a lot of times when I was sort of side of the stage watching the children perform and dance with their teachers that you actually, do, you, you find yourself welling up. You do get quite emotional because they're, they're only young kids of all different walks of life from d and different uh, social aspects and everything. But the enthusiasm and the energy that they've got is absolutely incredible. It's fantastic, so, isn't it? This, yeah. It's powerful. You can actually feel it. It makes makes the hair stand up in your back of your neck and your your arms. Oh. It's, it's just it's just wonderful. To be able to stand in front of that must be astonishing. Absolutely astonishing. Well, you know, music is important. I know. Yeah. You know, it's it makes us feel good. It reminds us of a time when we maybe first fell in love or a moment in our our lives and our history. And, and when you see the children, and, and remember, they, they, they get the tapes and the, um, all the music six months before we actually do the concert. And the teachers, and this is kind of what this is all about, this Young voice, Voices Worldwide Choir, is to thank all those teachers that give up their time for nothing, uh, spend, and, and they come to the concerts, they spend all day with the children, they don't get home till sometimes one, two, three o'clock in the morning because they've traveled such distances. Um, and it's just, it's a great coming together. So the idea is that on the 2nd of June at 2.30 p.m., and you can go to hashtag power in me, we get as many children from all over the world. Already we've got people from um, uh, Zambia, Indonesia, wow. UAE, Uganda, Ireland, Australia, Germany, um, and, and teachers and children and families to, to create the biggest choir in the world that there's ever been. I love that. Um, I love it. I think it's such a brilliant idea and what, what a thing to be involved in. But look, talking about spreading yourself around the world and all of that, you made headlines after after this. Now, it was some, it was a quiz in Singapore and it was Mohammed yeah. Shalin who he missed out on a big cash prize on the radio because he mispronounced yeah. your surname until you stepped in. Because and you said, hang on a minute, that, that you know it's okay, and he should get the money. Well, uh, I mean, I, I, when I'm at home, I'm doing sort of lots of kind of shout outs to people, whether it be people in the front line or whatever, or just people's happy anniversaries and stuff, and just to try and make people feel good, I suppose. And then I got this come through. Uh, this came through from Mohammed, and I thought, is this a joke? Is this a hoax or whatever? Realised it wasn't, and he'd missed out on. Um, 10,000 Singaporean dollars uh, prize money uh, because he mispronounced my name, which he didn't. So I listened right. to the radio tag and he said, Donnie Edley, and I well, that sounds like me. That <laughs> so. is, you know, absolutely. Well, can I just say that Mohammed is so grateful to you that he joins me now from Singapore alongside his wife, Siti <laughs> Mazuri Ayu. There they both are. Hi, guys. Hi, how are you Hello, doing? Hello. So Hello. nice to see you from beautiful Singapore. Good to see you. Now, what, what would you like to say to Tony? Because he, he actually, the, the, the radio station backed down and you got your money, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, Mr. Tony, I would really love to wish you a very, very big thank you. You, you, you absolutely, you are my idol right now. <laughs> I love that. Thank I you. love that. It's wonderful. Because that's yeah, a yeah. lot of money, isn't it? That's a lot of money, Mohammed. Yeah. And do you yeah. know what you're going to do with it? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna absolutely save it for my baby by number four, which is coming in August. I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm just over the moon right now. I'm living my moment actually. Oh, that's fantastic! And I, you, you, congratulations and good luck with the with baby number four. That is that is oh. terrific. But that they weren't yeah. they weren't going to give you the money, were they, Mohammed? Until Tony stepped in. 
Yes, 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 absolutely. When when Mr. Tony replied me with the video, I'm absolutely over the moon. I didn't even expect 0.1% for Mr. Tony to actually even reply me. So when I actually received the email, I was in shock. My my hands are literally trembling because I didn't know what to do. Oh, it's brilliant. I, I, actually, I actually do try and respond to as many people and I get all these things come through and I try and do as much as I possibly can. And I, I suppose from both our points of view, we didn't expect this to go global. I mean, <laughs> yeah, did we global. expect to be on the rain show this morning in the UK? No, we yeah. did. It was just a video to say, listen, Mohammed, I think you pronounced my name correctly. You deserve the prize money. And it's just gone, ching. It's just it's crazy, <laughs> yeah, crazy. Uh, yeah. Oh, it I, is I going, is, it. Uh, When it go global, I was so shocked. I mean, like I have uh, people from as far as South Africa, uh, Australia, UK, giving supports uh, at a Facebook. So I was so, I'm so intrigued. I'm so shocked. Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah. Listen, thank you both of you for joining us this morning from beautiful Singapore. Thank, thank Take care of yourself. One of my favourite places thank in the world. You, Take you, care of yourself, you, both you. of you. Good luck with I'll baby be, number four. Good luck. I'll be seeing you in October. See you in October, yeah. See you in October. <laughs> lovely to see you. Take care. Oh, that was so nice, Tony, wasn't it? That was just lovely. What a lovely couple. That was a shock. I didn't expect that. <laughs> <laughs> but you've made his, his, well, never mind his day, you've made his year. I mean, that's a huge thing to do. And you know, it's really interesting about you saying that you reply to everybody because you've been getting so many people asking for messages and things and you're always really good at, at doing that. It's, it's a lovely thing to do. Well, Matt Glover, my manager, he, he gets all the emails and he sends them through to me. And it might take me a few days or whatever, but I do try and do whatever I can, which is good for me because it keeps me occupied, apart from doing homeschooling, hands yeah. up to the teachers. Wow. Absolutely. Um, and, um, yeah, but it's good. But the ironic thing about this, this, this business with uh, the radio station in Singapore, they were the sponsors or they are the sponsors of my concert that I'm doing there. October the 10th. <laughs> so when I come to collect my fee, there might be a little bit less. <laughs> That's brilliant. But you can see Mohammed and Ayu as well. You can see them too. And can I just say very quickly, your hair looks fabulous. Even though it was attacked with dog clippers, it looks fantastic. Oh, thank you, look you very, very, very good. You look very good. <laughs> Listen, thank you for talking to me this morning. I really appreciate it. Yeah. And the, young, the Young Voices Power in Me Challenge takes place Tuesday the 2nd of June, yeah. as you said, at half two. Global, it's a brilliant thing to be part of, Tony. 2.30, yeah. And, and if people go on to hashtag power in me and register, and we want to we want to get to 100,000 children, teachers, families Excellent. joining in, uh, it's going to be amazing, amazing. Thank you, my darling. Good Great luck with that. Good luck with that.